Hello everybody, my name is Bear Cozy and today we're playing some Awakened Chaos Era. Not only that, but I got a ton of rewards to claim from Void Tower and we're going to do that together. I wanted to save it on camera, so let's take a look at Void Tower. Regular is cleared. I have not started hard just yet. I'm waiting to make a video, waiting to film it. The progression's really exciting and I got a giant wall of rewards which is very very cool. I really enjoy making these progression videos. I know that I've made a couple of these Void Tower videos but every time it comes up I really enjoy running it, getting the rewards. There's a ton of stuff in here plus of course the Ancient Summoning Crystal and as of right now I haven't got a Legendary off of one of these just yet. So I'm really hoping I got this one here, I got one more in my, in my inbox, in my backpack and that's going to be cool. So. So while I'm claiming all these rewards, I wanted to take the time to thank everybody for watching my videos, for supporting the channel, leave me the comments and everything related, sharing my videos. Thank you so much everybody, I really appreciate all of your support, it really means the world to me. The channel is growing nicely, my subscribers are still fairly low but I am working very hard. I am making two videos every single day, seven days a week and trying to grow that. So if you have not subscribed, please do me a massive favor. Please hit the subscribe button. That will help me tremendously. Not only will that help the channel to grow, but that will also help me to become a content creator. I did put an application in it to be an ace content creator, and I'm really looking forward to that. However, my channel is still small, so I'm sure it will take some time for them to get back to me. So let's go ahead and claim this last one here. We got diamonds and some pumpkins. I got a bunch of stuff there. That was really, really cool. So we are going to move on to Hard Void Tower soon. But right now, I want to go ahead and pop all of those shards, all those rewards. Why is it still glowing? I know. I know sometimes it still glows. Okay, it's done. What I want to do right now is I want to go ahead and pop all of these shards. I have been saving shards so we can pop them together. I don't have a whole lot, but what I do have, we can pop together. Right now, I have 915 Stardust, which is used for the limited summons. Now, if you look at the limited summons pool, the way that this works is the summons are only limited to what's in the pool. So if you did not know that, now you do. There are three legendaries available. I am really looking forward to trying to get myself a Blackhorn. The rest, I don't really care about, but I do need Evelyn. I do need Joseph. And there's a few others I do need for the synthesis. I don't need any more Rodiers. God knows I don't need any more Rodiers. I have pulled 15 of them and I would like to trade some in to get a Blackhorn. So right now there's a Blackhorn and a Gangalo. You got five days left as of recording of this video. So hopefully you can get yourself either a Blackhorn or a Gangalo. And I'm hoping for a Blackhorn. The next limited summon hero pool is actually under special summons. So if you look under special summons on the bottom next to summon details, you can click on that. That will show you not only this current hero pool, but if you scroll all the way down, you can see the next upcoming hero pool as well. And that'll tell you how much time we have until the next pool. The next one is really good as well. So here's the plan. Right now, I'm going to pop what I have to try and get Blackhorn. If we don't get Blackhorn, I'm going to be Pepega sad. But I'm, I'm also going to try to save some of the next resources from Hard Void Tower for Yolanda. I could really use Yolanda. I could use a Sierra. That would be really good. And of course, I could use a Santas because my Santas has zero ascensions right now. And I would love to get her ascended at least a couple of times. Would love to get to five. But right now, I can't fuse anymore. I'm really missing Joseph. So let's go ahead and start popping these shards. I think what I want to do, let's go with... The advanced summons, I guess let's start with the advanced summons. Let's start with the free daily summon. And as you know, I like to record my daily summons. I've gotten some really good stuff. And I've gotten two or three legendaries from the free shard that they give you every day. So let's pop that first. Let's see what happens there. We got Rourke. We don't need him. All right, let's go ahead and do a couple of these 10 pops. This is awesome because usually I pop like one or two shards and that's it. So I've been trying to save some shards. We got, oh, we got, is this an epic? I think it's an epic. All right, so we got, not too bad. I got another copy of Winstrix. That rounds out my sixth Winstrix. So that is okay. Um, I guess I would have to take her to 60 for now. She's okay. Charles is good. Rodira at this point, I do not want... Elson's okay, you can use him for a fusion, and Freya you can actually use for the unhealable achievement from Evelyn, so she works okay there. The rest I don't really care about. Valak I just built. Speaking of Valak, I just built Valak. 
I am going to be making a Queen of Tides 12 free to play video using a level 50 Valak with half glyphs. So that's going to be that. No Gangalo. Level 50 Valak, half glyphs, zero ascension Santas, Rodira, and Zatlux who you can get from the Covenant. So if that's not a free to play team, I don't know what is. That's going to be coming very, very soon. Let's go ahead and pop 10 more. This is unskippable. Come on, Lego. Give me a good Lego. I would really love Valeria. Come on. Give me something. Why is this blue? It's unskippable and it's all blue. Are you kidding? Okay, well, I got Joseph. Joseph's okay. I don't really care about the rest. Moving on. <laughs> I can't believe that was unskippable. I was really getting excited there for a minute because usually when you can't skip it, it's a Epic or a Lego. Another Epic we got. So we got Ricard. Actually, Ricard is really good. That I will take. Ricard is very, very good. I believe he does. Nice. Added to the collection. Ricard was added to the collection. Got the achievement for that. So that's kind of cool. I believe Ricard does true damage, which is awesome. I'd have to take a look at his kit, but he's pretty cool. I will most likely build him since the hero promotion event is still going on. And of course, I can't go a, a pull without pulling Rodira. That is what, 17, 18 Rodira pulls now. Let's go ahead and do the next 10 summons and see what we get there. So the next 10 pop is, come on, big money. I got to get a Lego soon. Come on. Give me a Lego. Hey, you're still watching the video. That means you're enjoying the content. And if you're enjoying the content, that means somebody else will also. Click the subscribe button below and help this video reach more people so they can enjoy it as well. Help me out. Hazel's okay. That's actually my second Hazel. I have not built him. I'll have to see what he's good at and what he does. Moving right along. This one is... All right. Come on, baby. Give me something good. I don't care if I don't get a Lego. All I want is Blackhorn. We're going to go for the Blackhorn. Hugh is, yeah, Hugh is okay. Hugh, nothing to get too excited about. That's it, huh? Wow, all epics. Wow, all right. Well, I probably should have popped my seven singles, but let's go ahead and pop them anyway. We got Barack over here. What's the next one? Celine, all rubbish, absolute rubbish. Okay, we got that guy. We don't care about that guy. This one is unskippable. So this one is going to be, let's look for the rings. Do we get two? Do we get three? We get two. Okay, so two rings. We got Hakrin. I will take a Hakrin. I don't have to fuse him. That is going to help me out with Hakrin. However, <laughs> I stopped using him. Hakrin's only ascended once or twice. I believe it's twice. I have myself a Queen of Tides speed team. It's just over two minutes, and Hakrin is out, and Zatlux is in. But I will take another Hakrin. He is pretty good, and I can always use more copies of him to get more ascensions. We got three left, and then we're moving on to the Stardust. Let's pop that one. Let's pop that one. This guy's okay. I don't really care. We'll have to see what he does. Doesn't seem too exciting. Reminds me a little bit of Stitches from the World of Warcraft universe. Last shard, what do we get? Last shard, we get Smelson. So that was that was a little pit peg of sad, but uh, I am 5.5% into Mercy. So hopefully soon. I don't know what the math works out on that, how many shards I need, but hopefully soon. We'll have to see how it is. I know after 90, we get that 1% every time. So I think I'm coming up on 90 shards. So uh, my guess would be I'm probably 15 or 18 shards away. All right. Let's go ahead and do some of these singles. And then we'll do one pop at the end, one 10 pop. Rajago is okay. Rog is okay. We got the turtle. Let's see. Hopefully, I don't know. No, no, nope. Marion, yeah, Marion is okay. Nothing too exciting here. Malik, I want to do a 10 pop. Abbott, let's see. I don't want to go below 500. Freya's okay. Nothing good so far. So we are at 515. I don't want to pop anymore. Let's go ahead and do one last temple. With any luck, we'll get Blackhorn because my only healer right now is Rodira. She is okay. She is usable. I'm using her in Queen of Tides 12. I am using her in... Ash Magisteria, I'm using her in Tulpa and a few others. Witch of the Wind, I cleared, but uh, I cannot, I don't have a 100% team for Witch of the Wind just yet. My heroes are too slow. So I am really hoping for Blackhorn because he does have that cleanse. I believe he has a cleanse. I mean, another Gangalo wouldn't hurt. So let's go ahead and do a 10 pop. I don't have any mercy, but let's go ahead and see what happens. Here we go. And the 10 pop says, come on, big money. Let's see what we get. Okay, we're definitely getting an epic. No Legos in this one, unfortunately. Magnar is not what I was looking for. And, wow, that was a big letdown, huh? Just Magnar. Wow, wow, wow. I tried to save as many shards as I could. 
not one Lego. However, <laughs> wow, well, Rip City. Okay, so since that didn't pan out, that is very, very unfortunate. Okay, well, since that didn't pan out, what I am going to do is I'm going to save some of my Stardust for the next hero pool. Yolanda will be good. Yolanda will be needed to, to farm Queen 13 and 14, so I am going to need her. Rodir is probably going to step aside if I get Yolanda. I asked around in the official Ace Discord, and my understanding is that the Mercy keeps stacking from this hero pool to the next until you get a Lego, so it just keeps adding up as you keep popping shards. So that would be good. So we didn't get a Blackhorn for this one. On the next one, Santas would be very, very good for me. I am going to need Evelyn here. I am going to need Joseph for the fusions for Santas and Hakron. Ricard, of course, is in the next one as well, so he will be good with the one I just pulled now, and hopefully that will help me. And then, of course, the top three are all good. Cyrus is okay. Not too exciting, but Cyrus is okay. Of course, we got Azrina and uh, Urzag over here. Urzag is usable. Virgil is actually usable as well. Before I built Lunar Melisa, who is only currently at 50, I used Virgil in the regular Void Tower, and he worked out okay on the last 10 floors, which was very nice. I am using Lunar Melisa for the hard Void Tower now, and I'm going to be making a Hero Spotlight on her. She's working out really well for me in hard Void Tower and Arena. So since I got a bunch of diamonds from the Void Tower, I went ahead and bought myself a 10 pop. Hopefully this will do it. I'm hoping for Lego. Let's go ahead and do this 10 pop and see what happens here. Last <laughs> last 10 pull for the win, I hope. Let's go ahead and see what happens. Come on, legendary. Give me something good. It is an epic. Wow, all epics. It's gonna Santis is good. I'll take a Santis. I'll take a Santis. That Magnar popped out. I was like, uh-uh. I will take a Santis all day long. This is going to make it my first, my very first ascension on Santis. So that's going to be really cool. <laughs> I forgot. I forgot. I completely forgot. Oh, man. I completely forgot. I still had shards. Let's go ahead and do this. Let's start off with the green one. See what we get there. I wanted to make this video good, and I forgot all about my backpack. Let's go ahead and pop the blue one. See what that gives us. No black horn there. Let's pop a fire. I could always use some fire heroes. Come on, baby. Evelyn's okay. Evelyn's okay for the synthesis. I will take Evelyn. She is good. I have two ancient summoning crystals as well. Now, I've popped a few before, and I didn't get any legendaries, and I'm hoping that one of these is a Lego. I don't know if this actually adds to the mercy counter. Let's go ahead and find out. I don't think it does since they're special crystals, but let's see what this one is. And this one is a, another Hakron. That's pretty good. That's two Hackers today. That's pretty, pretty good. I like that. I'll take that. Last one for the big win. And I also have a couple of these here. Let's go ahead and pop the last Ancient Summoning Crystal. And we're going to get... This one is also unskippable because it's an Epic or a Lego. Or a Lego. I hope it's a Lego. I hope... Come on. <laughs> all Epics, man. It's all Epics. Scarlet is actually pretty good. That is my second Scarlet. I just took my first one to... 40, I believe, or 50, because there is a hero promotion event. She does have some good bleeds. She has the wolf with the counterattack, so this is going to be really nice. I'm going to be able to ascend my original Scarlet, and now I just have to farm some better gear so I can utilize her. So there it is. Those are all my shards. I don't think I have any more, unless you guys want to watch me summon the blue shards. Thanks for watching, everybody. Hit that subscribe button to help me grow the channel. Hit the thumbs up to help the YouTube algo to drive my video. I appreciate all of your support. I hope you enjoyed the video. I'll see you in the next one.